Hi everyone, Saskia here from Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue and I'm here with Sapphire. She's one of our sanctuary residents and I want to talk about nail clipping today and how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it and I'm going to use her, her nails move down. And we were actually, it was funny, we were walking around trying to find a guinea pig with long nails and of course we don't have any because we cut their nails regularly. <laughs> Normally I do the videos with people's guinea pigs that come in that definitely need nail, nail clips and it's just much easier to see when the nails are longer. Um, but because of the pandemic, we're not having any visitors to the ranch right now. And that is actually why I'm doing this video as well. A lot of our regular people that come and have their nail clips done and their health checks and stuff, they can't come right now because we closed and it's not advised. So. I'm doing the video to teach everyone to do it, you know, and then hopefully it's just going to be for a little while, um, but we definitely don't want those nails to start curling in and it, it starts to hurt their the joints, their, their little feet. You know, if you leave it too long, you can actually, with the older guinea pigs, the bones start to kind of grow wrong like this and you get these really gnarly curled feet. You being such a good girl. Yes, you are. I should have gotten you a snack. Um, so it's really important. Their nail health is super important. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna put on my super duper glasses for this, so that I notice that she has a little tiny spur that I want to cut off with this little precision tool. I want to make sure that I really get it. So what is a spur? A spur is, and I'll show you. It's just a piece of callus that'll grow on the side of the paw, uh, and they can grow like really kind of long, and they can point up. Um, and it's just this hard piece and a lot of people wonder if that's like an extra nail or something But no what it is. It's actually called a spur and it's just callus that you can cut off and you want to cut off the callus sometimes even in the middle of the paw they'll have uh, With the older guinea pigs only You'll see that they have some growth here as well That is this callus growth and you can literally just nip it off with a cuticle nipper is what I use for that You can nip it off and the reason you want to is because what you don't want to happen is that they are gonna snag it on something and pull and then tear the pad that's that's not good so missy you have a little spur that we're gonna take care of for you okie dokie let's have a look okay so i start by having the guinea pigs close to me so i see a lot of people doing how nail clips like this and they're kind of struggling with the nail clipper or there's someone holding the piggy and then the other person doing the nail clip and you know what I can't actually do that when someone is holding the guinea pig and I'm trying to do the nails I I am prone to make a mistake so I just developed this particular technique and it works it really really works and a lot of people it's kind of hard to get the, 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 the feel of it and how to do it some of it may feel unnatural but Practice it and practice the way I hold them as well and you'll notice that it actually will it make a big difference in how you're cutting the nails I did some earlier videos and people actually some of the comments were like wow I never was able to do the nails But if I, I followed exactly the directions that you gave me and I was able to do it. It's amazing So let's hope that the same works for you. Okay Alrighty So let's, the table height makes a big difference. I yeah, think for the us. Table height definitely makes a big difference. So if you're uh, sitting down or it, you just don't have the grip and the hold on the animal that I have right now so this is very important so if you can somehow find something that's a little higher up and you can stand like I am that really will make a big difference so what I do is first of all I use my whole arm my hands and everything in order to secure the guinea pig so I can't just grab this nail and try and start cutting because she is way too um, you know she's not secure and she can pull she can run away and I'll make a mistake so to fix that what I do is I hold him kind of in here see how I'm kind of and she feels already a little more secure and doesn't feel the need to run away because she's already hiding then I take my clipper and then what I do is I grab and and uh, then I move my arm down but you see how I'm still kind of holding her snug I, you're starting to complain now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're so sweet. Um, okay, so I'm bringing and see how I'm constantly in touch. This part of my arm is in touch with the guinea pig. She is against me. And then I can cut it like this. Now, 
Let me go take a good look at the nail itself. And what is a great measure is actually right there where you see the nail starting to curl. That is where you can safely cut. So, oh, mommy, I'm sorry. So I can tell here the nail starting to curl. So right above that, I can do a clip. There. And look how she's actually now free of my of my grasp that I had on her, but I can sense that she's that, that, that I can safely make the trim. She's not like, you know, ready to go and run away or anything. But generally speaking, yeah, it's probably best to just keep her there. And so she has black nails, clip. right? She has dark nails, yes. So with the dark nails, it's actually much easier to go with the, um, with, with the curve method, where just right where it curves, the nail curves, you just can take off the tip there, and then you'll be safe. Good girl. And then here is that little spur I spoke of. You see that she has a really small one here, but it's definitely there. You see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so those you can actually do with this, with a proper clipper. And I like to use this one. This is a toenail clipper, a people toenail clipper. I prefer those over the special like cat nail or bird nail clippers that they sell. I, I think you have a lot more control over your clipping than with the round one with the little circle. You know, I don't have an example here because we usually don't keep them if, if we get them um, donated. But... Let's do it. So, what I'll do, see how I'm holding her completely? And I just want to get my clipper in there. And then I just clipped off the little spur. And this is a small one because, like I said, they can definitely grow a lot bigger. Yeah. And they're they in can. different colors based on their skin, too. Yeah, exactly. Because it is skin, excess skin. That is what callus is. It is the color of what the skin is. Yep. So this one doesn't really need much here at all. Do the back nails grow longer than the front nails? Yeah, they usually do. Just a bit. Oh, honey, I'm not hurting you. And you'll see how the front ones usually always... Well, she's an older lady, but this one is always seems to be a little harder. This one here, because it hides a little bit underneath. So you definitely want to make sure that you grab that. Oh, honey, is it that bad? Is it that traumatic? <laughs> oh, you sweet thing. All right. So with the other nail, what I do is I swing them around. Then it's almost like the farrier, right? Where the horse. Uh, the hoof guy, the, the hoof smith, will bring back the paw of the guinea pig. Wait, what? <laughs> hoof smith will bring back the paw of the guinea pig. So now the other thing I want to say about this, be careful if your guinea pig has arthritis. If you have an older guinea pig, you want to check first if there's arthritis. You will feel it in the joints. If the joint here is like thickened, that's usually because um, there's some kind of an arthritis going on and it can, the joint can swell in and it might be painful to force that leg back. So you want to definitely be careful with that. And if you don't want to pull it back, you can also do it like this. It's just easier if you bring it back, but you can definitely do it the way like this without having to really bring that leg back. Okay, okay. And uh, she's kind of definitely not cooperating right now. And I just very gently, I wait, I don't pull, I don't hold her like really tight to make it force her to be quiet. That's not as my, my experience that doesn't work. So I just keep trying gently and then eventually she'll just kind of let me do it. I always tell everybody with black nails, because everyone's afraid of black nails, I would say at least cut the tip off. The tip, yes, exactly right there where it curves. There. And it's just so little to cut on these nails that I gotta be careful actually not to cut too much, but I just wanna show you guys. Yeah, you are actually not making it easy, and it's not, it's actually good that she's like this because that way you can see 
what's normal because a lot of people go we make it all seem so easy but you know some of them are not so easy and this way it's good so you can see how I would deal with a guinea pig that's not that easy to do but again what's really good is that I'm holding her like this so she feels secure because if I try to do this without that there's no way and she would really try and run run off because she can because she doesn't have that thing in front of her so I don't know if she would but I would I just wouldn't do it like that I mean they can just run off from you right so this she feels secure and that really makes all the difference and let me see do you have a spur in this little footsie she does so okay now this is a look at this one look at the paw the structure of this little paw this little footsie okay honey maybe I should get her a little snack maybe that helps let me get her a little snack okay snack will you you gonna eat that come on it's a carrot it's a really yummy one you're that upset at me you don't want to <laughs> eat I don't believe it I'm not believing it <laughs> oh sapphire let me get her some romaine lettuce Maybe she'll take the lettuce. Okay, well that worked, so a little bit of remain for her. So just keep eating, okay, while I show your little footsie. Keep eating, good girl. I wanted to show the pad. Let's see if she'll let me do it now. Okay. Now right here is where there's a spur, and it's kind of hard to see unless you kind of know what that whole foot looks like. But here is the spur. This is that hard piece here. You can kind of tell. There. Are you getting a good, mm -hmm. good look at it? Okay, good. So, again, but you know, this is not that easy to do because this is pretty close to the, to the skin, this, this particular spur. Um, it's easier when they're a little longer and on the side, but let me just show you. There. There we go. Good girl. Yeah. Sometimes when I'm cutting the spurs off, I cut a little bit at a time. Oh, you can do that for sure and do a little piece at a time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, just eat. See? Eat. Most guinea pigs will just continue to eat. She's special. She's special. She is special. Okay. See how she's pulling her little leg back? And I'm just, I'm letting her. I'm not grabbing that leg and holding it because that just like I said it doesn't I don't feel that that works I just wait till she just you know sits still long enough for me to get a to get a clip in a safe clip in there I just these are a lot of these nails actually don't really need clipping good girl good girl and while I'm doing this, you can see that this is open, but I am still holding her against me with this, with my other, you see my whole hand is here. So it's not like I'm doing this. I am still in, in contact with her. I'm still forcing her, not forcing, but pulling her against me so that I know she's not going to just run off because I have no control over her. And, you know, normal guinea pigs will just let you do this quite easily. It's this that she doesn't particularly like it and it happens so for let's try another one let's see another piggy and see what their nails look like so we get a few maybe we'll do a couple more um, so we can see what their nails look like this is Chantilly let's do her nails she was uh, the Palmdale I call it the Palmdale rescue Antelope Valley rescue and there's a video coming actually of all these this big group, a big group that was breeding, and they all look like this. They're all so cute, and the babies, oh my gosh, to die for. So, let's do it again. Just watch me how I'm holding her. I'm going to grab that little footsie. And this is a funky nail, because this doesn't grow right, as you can see. You're being good girl. And you can see how, well here it's easier to see because you can actually tell how far you can go. 
you want to make sure that you only clip into the white part not the pink because that's when it that's when it'll bleed so you just really just want to take the tip off and if you do make a mistake which can happen and it's just a little pinch for the guinea pig it's not the end of the world you want to try not to have it happen of course but we use styptic powder when you we do happen to make a little mistake I do I just grab a a bit in between my fingers and I'll apply it to the nail and just hold it close to the nail to stop from bleeding there's some volunteers who don't want to do that but they use like a, a q-tip like I think you do that too right Urs? yeah and apply with a q-tip um, there's many ways of doing it and you can also use cornstarch or just regular flour actually if you don't have the styptic powder but this should also be on the list of items that we uh, that we use here you being very good girl so then I move on to this one. So I repeat the same motion with my arm, with my hand. I grab her little footsie and I can see how far I can go. But yeah, I guess it's not easy to do guinea pig nails because they do move around a lot. For me and for us here, it's, it's like second nature almost. We do it all the time. So I don't, we don't even think about how to do it and stuff but now I think about it it's actually yeah it's, it's not that easy when they're like making this sound and this sound that she's making this is more like hey I'm uncomfortable I don't like what you're doing it's not like I'm in pain or I'm so stressed out or anything guinea pigs are always kind of dramatic you know something is going nothing's going on and they'll be like oh my gosh it's the end of the world um, so this sound she's making is just like hey she's complaining I don't like what you're doing So again, I'm going to look at this footsie. There's really nothing to cut here. But just for the sake of the video, let me just take a teeny little nip off there. There. Good girl. And then the other way, I will turn her around. And then I usually start here at the back foot. I'll, I'll flip that back foot. I know this is a young female, so I know she doesn't have joint issues. And... And you can kind of also, you could put your finger, your nail there, and then measure it like that so that you know you're not going to cut too far if you do it like that. So that's also a good help, a good trick. You are a very good girl. Do yes, you have you to are. cut baby nails? Baby's nails, they tend to get super, super sharp. Like, oh my gosh, they'll, they'll scratch you. Um, but there's really nothing to cut so and especially like three week old babies when we adopt out three week old babies and people ask like, oh my is so can you clip the nails but there's really nothing to clip so I'll do like teeny 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 little bit off just to get the super sharpness off of the nails but generally speaking young and baby guinea pigs you don't really need to start doing their nails till they're about two and a half months three months you want to take a look but before that there's really nothing to nothing to trim so can you file their nails yeah you could yeah I don't know if that's how easy that is I think if you get that little leg like, position to be filing it with something I think you might as well just trim it because that goes faster than if you want to you know have them stay in the same position while you're while you're filing the nail down that's my take on it let's find another one so this is Ford, and let's do Ford's nails. Hi, sweetheart. You're very much a cuddle bug, aren't you? You are a cuddle bug. Yeah. So he's an older male, so we'll probably see that his nails are a little thicker than with the younger pigs. Can we have a little quick peek? Yeah, a little bit. What about your little back feet? Can I have a look? You see how much thicker these nails are than from the piggies that we uh, the actually uh, Sephar had a little thicker nails she's also not the youngest but that's how you often can tell the age of a guinea pig as well is through the nails um, through the nails and if they kind of curl because sometimes they'll curl also a little bit with age all right sweetheart so tucking him in trimming that nail good job buddy oh and I just actually overclipped a little bit just teeny, a tiny. teeny teeny tiny bit see that and that happens and it's not like it's a super painful for them it's just like oh that wasn't very 
but it shows you how I too make mistakes. He's a lot better mannered. Yeah, you are. You're a good job. You're a good boy. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, I did that one. It's just so hard because there's not really that much to clip. So it's kind of hard to find. There we go. I'll turn you over. Let me see your joints feel good. I can pull your leg. Good job. And these are the darker nails. So that also always makes it a little more scary. But again, if you just use your nail to measure, I know I can take off this much. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to measure. I know I can take off this much. And that way I don't take off too much. You'll just see exactly where that curve starts. And you just put your nail there. There. And I think maybe that's a little easier on the back nail, especially, and it's much easier to do if they don't, if they cooperate. Sorry, buddy, it's almost over. We're almost done. And you see how this guy also has a little spur starting to grow right here. Right here, a same spot. See that? Now this one is so small. There, but I got it. Okay, just gonna keep trying till you let me. Good boy. Fit one nail. I'll try for the next. Good job. Thank you. There. That was really good. That was really good. You're a good boy. So there. I think that hopefully this is uh, helpful in some way. And that's the easier way, or at least I think the easier way to clip nails. So let me know you guys try it and let me know in the comments if it worked for you or if you think that i don't know what i'm talking about let me know thank you